So now that we understand this, okay, translates to this. And this translates when his hands come up to this right here. As soon as I see him reach, pull his hands up, doesn't matter what, I trap those hands and I come in. Okay? What if his hands aren't up? What if he's just all in my face? Okay? Same motion. Boom. And we're in. Okay? Doesn't change. Crack. So if he, had, if he throws a punch, here's the knife motion. Or if he uses his blade. Okay. 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 So that's the cut motion. Right? Off the punch. Okay. Same motion. Off the hands up. Same motion. Off the hands down, same motion. You guys all understand how it all translates to be the same thing, okay? When you're looking at that, that and then the empty hand portion, trapping and striking, but they call that pan and tukin, okay? But that's just one little aspect. So when you learn the blade, you learn the empty hand. When you learn the stick, you learn the sword. When you learn the sword, you learn the knife. When you learn the knife, you learn the empty hand. And it all connects all together, just like that.